My guest on the program is an example of success story. Now they say success stories are better told from a humble beginning. So he had a humble start in life and coming to the end of it is full of successes. Chief Michael Adeoju is a Nigerian business mogul, chairman of Toyota Nigeria Limited, founder and director of Eliza Day Nigeria Limited. He is also the founder of Eliza Day University, Ondo State. Chief Michael was born in June 1938 in Ondo State, the fifth of six children. He attended St. Michael's Anglican School for his primary education and Imade College for his secondary education, both in Ondo State. To further his education, he attended the University of Nigeria in Suka, where he obtained a degree in business administration. He is also an alumnus of the Lagos Business School and the School of Agriculture, Akure. In starting his business journey, Chief Michael worked as a salesman for CFAO Motors. Then he moved on to work at the Federal Inland Revenue Service, after which he worked at British Petroleum Nigeria Limited until he resigned and birthed his private enterprise, Eliza Day Nigeria Limited, with his first love, Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Ojo. His company, which has now become a conglomerate with several subsidiaries, is a major distributor of automobiles in Nigeria and acquired the license to import and distribute Toyota and GAC cars in Nigeria, making the brands household names in the country. Chief Michael is also the founder of Eliza Day University, Ondo State, a project he established to provide quality education to youths. He has continued to offer assistance to indigent members of his community by way of grants to boost SMEs. Refusing to allow his age slow him down, he still serves on the board of several companies. He is a recipient of several recognitions and accolades for his contribution to humanity. He is married to Mrs. Taiwo Adeojo and blessed with children and grandchildren. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Chief Ade Ojo. Yeah. Michael Ade Ojo. Michael Ade Ojo. Well, let's talk about, first of all, a bit about your humble beginning. Yeah? You went to school, you know, up to secondary education. And then you stopped and started working. What, what happened? Well, <clears throat> actually... I was not to go to school. Really? Yes. My dad's uh, vow was to train one from each of the three wives. Okay. And that my first brother, my first born, the first born of my mother, had taken his uh, my mother's turn. So uh, and. Uh, she could not afford sending me to school. One woman. Yes. So, so it has to be one person from every woman. <laughs> that is it. Anyway, you managed to go through the secondary education. Um, primary, secondary. secondary. And, then, and then, um, then I went to the School of Agriculture. You went to the School of Agriculture, but even correct. then, it seemed to me that, well, you know, was it after your School of Agriculture that you went into university thinking of becoming a medical doctor? Yeah, in the secondary school, yeah. I, it was my plan, my aim yeah. in your life, dream. yes, to, to be a doctor. Yes. But unfortunately, I didn't study physics even though it was available in my school, but I was not friend to physics and mathematics. So you were not friends? It's not that you were not told that physics is one no, of the subjects oh, no, you No, no, there was no, no. If they had told me earlier, I would have done everything to know physics and math. This is my honest confession to you now. I think since 1980 or thereabouts, I've been seeing that sign. 
Elizade on Ikorodu Road. And I'm just speaking up from you now. It is almost 50 years. We didn't start from uh, Ikorodu Road. We only appeared on Ikorodu Road in the 90s. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, that building was opened in 1995, but we ha we started from Ikeja here. Yeah, at um, it used to be 97 Awolowo Way. I, I keep hearing we we we. We means yourself and your my first wife. My wife, yes. Yeah. And then I understand it's a combination of Elizabeth and Ade. That is correct. Very clever. Yes. What did you start with, the business? No, what we are doing is what we started yes, with. you're still into car business. Yes. You know, and I understand that you have been through different cars before you settled for Toyota. And well, you're now well, Mr. Toyota. Actually, I started with Toyota. You did? When I started my business, I started with Toyota. And what happened was, I was in BP. When <clears throat> I had reasons to leave BP, but I, I wanted to be sure that I could do something by myself. Because when I was leaving the University of Nigeria, I made up my mind I wouldn't work for more than 10 years for anybody. So. Um, it happened that I was transferred to Benin. When I went to Benin, I, I, I happened to have performed, to have increased the output of uh, BP sales by 25% within three months. And I came back and the man I, I, I took over from in Benin was made my immediate senior. So it was some kind of resistance that pushed me out of BP. And so before I left, I went to um, Alte Brisco and I asked for them to allow me to sell their vehicles on commission. And they gladly said, yes, you are not going to get any salary from us. So agreed and that's how I took my holiday and uh, within the one month I was able to sell 40 cars. I where, worked. Did you, where did you learn car sales from? The Good, business? that was CFAO. CFAO was the one that delivered me out of the university by assisting me with scholarship. Really? So with two years scholarship, I was able to finish my studies in the University of Nigeria. And I now decided to work for CFL to show my gratitude to them. I was there for only two years. And what pushed me out of that place was, again, that I felt offended because my manager took my seal. I worked for that sale, but when it came to collecting this, the... Uh, it took the shine off you. <laughs> to collect the LPO, he said I mustn't go there. That he, he himself had to collect it, and that was uh, a person, one man from New Zealand, uh, who was my direct boss. He was the sales manager, I was the assistant sales manager, and that annoyed me. And that is, Are you always getting annoyed? When I'm uh, cheated. When you're cheated? Very badly cheated. So when was the last time you got annoyed? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember now. Oh, okay, so you know that they cheat. <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> you know, if you cheat me now, I get annoyed at you. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. So, I mean, afterwards, you decided it was going to be, you were not going to work for anybody, but yourself. Yes. And you have been doing that successfully, it seems. Yes, yeah, since uh, 1971. Wow. And then another dream came to you to fulfill, which is the university. Yes. Um, when did that dream you know, come up in the first place? Well, let me... Uh, I had dreamed 
since 1988 to have an institution in my hometown. And um, I asked for a piece of land from my Obaden, but they couldn't secure me any piece of land. I said I want to build this school. It was to be a secondary school for the community, but that I, I don't, it's not a, a venture, but that they must give me the land free of charge. The land will be their contribution, and I will build for free. We had built the first uh, building there. When Obasanjo came to say, no more polytechnics. So, again, I had to be pushed off the polytechnic to start the university. You appear like a cat with nine lives, you know? And when you started the university, I'm sure a faculty of sciences would have been an important faculty there. Yes. Because um, you're not going to let someone fall down on physics and mathematics anymore, were you? <laughs> yes, it was. There's something in your book that says you have decided, you know, to part company with poverty. And mm -hmm. so therefore you would never ever be friends with poverty again. You never By the grace have no of reason God. to associate with poverty. By the grace of God. Tell me about the JAC cars. What I mean, I think you're trying to go above the Toyota range, isn't it? Uh, it's not going above. It's a, it's a parallel line. It's, it spreads, you know, <laughs> widthwise, not uh, one above the other. Your son is in charge of that. Yes. Do you hope to hand over all your business to your son? Is not, he the one to inherit? It's not. Well, in a way, yes, but... What do you mean in a way? Because they have, to do, they have to do it well. Okay, so it depends on who you trust. To yes, well. well, I don't have too many. I only have two grown boys, two grown-up boys, and two Do you up. trust them so far? I trust them, of course. If I don't trust them, I won't give them the responsibility. Okay. Mm -mm. What about your wife? Wonderful wife. How is she doing? Very beautiful. Is she treating you well? Very, very well. Will it be better than the first one? Look, I am a very lucky person. I lost one to death. I married another. And this other two is as good as the first one. So I count myself a very lucky man in this world. One of the luckiest, I will say. Is it to get the two women in my life, to get them, and just through the, the will of God, is, is a wonderful gift. I have no regret with any of my wives. Really? From my second wife. Seven children from your second wife? Six. Six from your Two children from her and four children. Are you still, you know, in the works? Are you hoping to? Increase that number. Not even if you want to give me anything. I'm done. Oh, you are? I'm very done. But it does not, I mean, obviously, it does not, there's no rule to, you know, where you stop or start and all that. You have decided you're done. Ah, I'm very done. Now. Where is the, you think, uh, you, can you still work? <laughs> At my age. Pick a question. Okay. This one that is nearest to me, I hope. Eight is a two. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your most prized possession? Wow. 
I would be interested in knowing that as well. I think doing good for human beings. Okay. That is what I regard as my most... Rewarding society? Yes. Doing things, improving, making, creating jobs and all the rest of them. Uh, even though you, you many times meet disappointment in people, but my own is to help people achieve I remember you, you told me you stopped drinking alcohol about five years ago. Yes, I don't take alcohol. I don't even take Coca-Cola or all this. My drink is water anywhere. Yes. So what other things will describe you as uh, a man called Chief Adeojo? I think I'm humble. Oh, well. I'm yeah. not proud at all. Yeah. But I'm very strict. Okay. So I teach my children to be strict and not to mess around, to face what they are doing and um, advising people generally. Uh, um, articles or things, possession. I have them, but it's not that I do everything to get them. Have you ever met President Buhari? Yes. You have? Yes. Have you had occasion to advise him? Well, uh, I had. I had one. Okay, really. What uh, was it? Is uh, That was in his uh, first... Uh, first session, uh, four years, when, uh, when I tried to tell him the realities of motor business, what happens in the motor business, and how we can grow it, I went to advise him with my son by my side. In present day Nigeria, which is still in our heads, is it... If you were to advise him again, what would you tell him? I'm not happy with the way Nigeria is going. Because... What are you not happy about? Uh, the way people are being killed every day. Yeah. For a country that is blessed, we only need rearrangement. It is my personal belief that we will be better Nigeria if we are into regions like Western region, Eastern region, as we had before. I think allow everybody to as go we are, at well, go well. to go at his pace okay, but if you and to exploit whatever they have to the fullest. Okay. Is that, will, will that for you be an improvement? To me, it will be region, regional. I think that's the best way I can call it. Are you into politics? Never, no. Why not? Why, why do you No, do I do vote, but I'm not in politics. I was going to ask you, I mean, when you were working, was it CFAO Motors? I started with CFAO. But when I, I that is after leaving the university. Yes. And CFO. Um, was that you know when you bought your first car? Uh, when I got my first car. When you got your first car, mm -hmm, yes. you had no money to buy your no. the first car. No. So you did not buy a car. You owned a car for the first time. Yes. Where did you get it from? From CFO. Oh, I was the assistant sales manager. So you took one? It's not that I took. <laughs> I <have> <laughs> Okay, let's go to this third aspect of your life. You have a golf course mm -hmm. in Ondo State. Mm -hmm. That is probably, you know, the best in the country. 
It is a judge the best. Is a judge the best yes. in the country? Why do you think so? It's what golfers say who have gone through the, you know. You, you played golf? Yes. Or you just built a golf course? I was playing golf before I, I built it. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, you never played golf after you said you had an injury? I started playing golf when I turned 60. So it's for old people? No. So why did you wait till you were 60? No, you I didn't wait golf? because I didn't know what was uh, golf. It was uh, so... I'm, I, I'm, I'm told it's for the rich. Anyway, do you think Golfing so? people feel is for the rich, but it's not true. You're about to be cast away on an island, and uh, you're allowed to take with you five items, only five items, for those ten days you'll be on this island. What would they be? First of all, I can't survive with mosquitoes around. Well, so that so, means you will need to take along a fleet or a mosquito net, whatever it is. Mosquito net. Yeah. Food. Yes. Food includes water. Do you like music? I like, yes, very much. I'm, really? I'm, Who's your favorite musician? Oh, almost everybody. I like all kinds of music and I dance to them all. Have you heard of Naira Mali? Naira Mali? Yes. Ah, no, sorry. Okay, then that's all right. Then I like... Uh, You're not into any English classics or anything like that? Uh, no, I'm not. Too, How did you I'm manage not, when you were growing up, chasing a girlfriend? Yeah, I was very good. and uh, my, my beauty attracts women. Really? Yes. Wow, they told you that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Because if, if me and you are going, I'm likely to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I agree. <laughs> now, what else would you take along with you? To survive? Yeah. Maybe a small TV that I can... Okay. Hopefully, it will work <laughs> where you are taking me. Then I must take a mat. You take a mat? Yes, along that with I you. can sleep with. Yeah. Perhaps a pillow. I can do without a pillow if it is... Not to, but, yes. you know. It's a survival game. Yes. Sir. If I may remind you, mm. I'm sure you might want a Bible. Good. God bless you. How much would you pay me for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's even leave it at that. Yeah, you Bible, know? Yes. What would you, you know, congratulate yourself most for in life today? <sighs> I thank God for what he has done in my life. And if you have time, more time in life, what would you like to achieve again? Hmm. Well, to, 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 uh, I will want to expand my university. We will, I'm thinking of something if God uh, grants it. Yeah. I'd like to have a hospital attached to the university. May your wishes be granted. A specialist hospital to either face the eye problems or uh, this horrible disease, uh, uh, cancer. Well, thank God you're not suffering from any of these and um, long may you live. Thank you very much. We have had fun talking to you. <laughs> we enjoyed the pleasure of your company. Yeah, and myself as well. That's how it's been on the program The Chats. I am Manny, and my guest has been the one and only, is it Mr. or Doctor or, you know, the founder of Elisa Day. And uh, unfortunately, your wife is not here with us, but uh, what a partnership it's been. And what a successful partnership has been. It's been on the chat. My name is Manny. See you next time.